a side step where you're using a long band for the resistance. You can use a band with or without candles. I'm gonna show you both. So step onto the band with your feet hip width apart so that you have an equal amount of band on each side. Now crisscross the band in front of you and row the weight up. I prefer to row up and back, elbows back, versus being here. This is gonna be more comfortable, at least for my shoulders, so this is a position that I recommend taking. From here, sit your hips back toward an imaginary chair into a partial squat. Now in this position, a couple very important things. You wanna maintain feet, knees, and hips remaining aligned with each other when we always come back to this same spot. They're pointing forward directly in front of us, shoulders down and back, core engaged. From here, lift one foot and step it out to the side. Now step your other foot, your trailing leg, in, coming back to that initial position. Step out and in, out and in, and then we repeat on the other side for the designated reps. Now, a couple mistakes that are very common to make with this are lifting up and kind of bouncing through it or shifting our weight. We want to keep this really strong and stable. Another very common mistake is as you step with one foot, your trailing knee caves in. We really want to avoid that. So keep pressing your knees out so that they can remain, remain aligned in the same direction as your toes. Another very common mistake is that we take a big step out and then a really big step in, which loses tension through the band. So when you step out, it's a big step. When you step in, we're going back to feet and knees, hip width apart, okay? With this band, we'll step onto it. Same rules apply. Crisscross it in front of you, row it up, sit into that partial squat, and step, step. You can pull more or less to create more or less tension through the band.